This video will discuss our FX Total View, which is available to all of our mentor students. This is a quick snapshot of each currency and all the pertinent information that you need to know to help you make trading decisions. You can sort by any of the columns to see the strongest and weakest pairs. The first column, a relatively simple one, each currency that is above the 10-day moving average, 20-day, 50, and 200 is dark green. Uh, the light green ones you have here are above the 50, 200, and 20-day moving average. The super weak ones are below the 10, 20, 15, 200 are dark red, and the ones that are below the 20, 15, 200 are light red. The daily, weekly, and monthly statistical trend. These are comprised of three different statistical trend tools on different time frames averaged together to give a smooth result. Right now the dollar Swiss today has the strongest daily trend up and the two weakest ones are the Australian dollar and Euro dollar today. I primarily sort by the weekly trend and look for buys in the top two or three strongest ones and look for sells in the top two or three weakest ones. Preferably the monthly trend matches the weekly trend. It makes it easier. The IntelliTrend shows real-time statistical trend strength or weakness and when it lines up with the daily, weekly, and monthly you have higher odds. This column up down in a row shows which currencies have like the pound dollar had three days where they had lower closes. The New Zealand dollar three days in a row down. The pound yen four days in a row up. Normally after three or more days up or down in a row, you can expect a reversal, especially at the highs or the low, outside of our containment bands. We have a complete trading system based on this, and this helps you find currencies to look for to find reversals if all the criteria meet. This column shows the currencies that are above the previous day's high, above the previous week's high, and above the previous month's high. Currencies are above last week's high, last month's high, very strong. They're more likely to go up today. Or if the market, if that particular currency goes down, you have a greater chance of buying the lows and getting it a nice 30, 50, or 80 pip move up off the lows. The currencies are underneath the previous day's low, show up in red. Underneath the previous week's low, show up in red too. It says less than L for low. This shows daily narrow range patterns. There's narrow range four inside days, which the volatility of the previous day was smaller than the previous four days, and price was inside the previous bar. We have NR7, which means yesterday's high minus low was less than the previous seven days, and we also show occasionally NR7 inside days. Low volatility days oftentimes lead to higher volatility days the next day. So you, at a simple glance, you can look for the dollar cad and the pound yen today to be more likely to trend. And we also show you which currencies had very narrow range patterns the previous week, which can often lead to big moves the next week.